welcome to HNS Academy. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to repeat row and column headers on different pages of Excel. So let's get started. As you can see on your screen, we've got some sample sales data here uh, with daily sales for 2020. And you can see that this is a big data, expands over different pages. If you go to the top, now what we need to do is we want the first two rows which is the heading we want this to be repeated on each page when we want to print this data or this sheet now in order to print this we go to the print preview screen which is with control p as you can see it has multiple pages four in total if we go to the next page you can see there's no heading on the top so we want this first heading which is there on the top to be shown on all pages now in order to do this we need to go to the page layout tab on top then you can see a small drop down arrow if you click on it it takes you to the page setup dialog box and then you need to go to the sheet tab and here you have rows to repeat at top option if you click here then you need to select the rows which you want to be repeated you select the first one if you want to select multiple ones or you want to select a range then you need to press and hold the shift key and then select the second one okay now you've got the first two selected then you press ok okay and that's it done now in order to check if it has been applied press ctrl p again and then now if we go to the second page you can see it's still showing on top third as well and also on the fourth one as well so now it has been applied on all the pages and that's it done now if you want to do the same thing with columns you can simply do the same thing with columns as well if you have multiple um, you know you have a data which is expanding on multiple columns and you want to repeat um, the column headers then you can simply go to the page setup this arrow again go to sheet and then there's an option columns to repeat at left as well you simply need to select the columns as we did for rows and that's it that will give you um, the option to repeat the columns as well that's all for today's video hope you've enjoyed the video today and you've learned something useful if you haven't subscribed our channel please do it now and press the bell icon so you can stay tuned to our upcoming videos thank you very much